Hello, Jeremy from Awaken Prepping here. I'm um, going to try out my rocket stove experiment today. Um, I picked up these this set of tin snips at Home Depot the other day, paid $10 for a right, a left, and a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a center cut. Um, had some tin cans laying around that I've been holding on to for a while, thinking of doing something with, and came across some videos online. One was by uh, LDS Prepper. Um, showing you how to make a rocket stove out of a, I believe he used a paint can or a number 10 can and some tin cans. So I figured I'd give it a shot. And this is what I came up with here. It's not a finished model. I kind of just threw this paint can together because it's all I really had. It's not all that clean. There's still paint, so I don't know how safe that is to, to burn with, but I'm going to find out. Um, but this is what we have. Um, this is our feed chamber here. Um, feeds up into the combustion chamber. This will be our heat coming out of the top right here. Our cooktop, boil water, do uh, various chores on that. Um, and what I used on the inside is, it's really all I had available, so I went ahead and mixed up some basically mud and straw that I had laying around in the backyard and made a cob mixture just to fill around the bottom combustion chamber inside here and it's still not dry it's still pretty wet in there so we're gonna see what we can do with it I have some fat wood chunks here that I brought back from my last camping trip that's gonna be uh, the fuel we're gonna work with today um, but let me get it set up outside and we'll be right back and show you how she burns Okay, so here we are. I got my setup here for the rocket stove. <clears throat> Apologize for the background noise. I live in a big city and as you can see it's a lot noisier than my normal locations I videotape at. Um, what I'm going to do is just chop down some of this fat wood here. Make it a little bit more manageable for the stove. That looks like a good chunk there. I'm going to start it with that. And then once that's good and lit, I'm just going to put it into the combustion chamber here and we'll see how it how it does. Right, you can see we got smoke coming out of the top. Looks like our flame is burning pretty good in there. Add some more fuel. So far, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's definitely heat coming off of there. burning strong. I'm going to um, take the camera off the tripod here and give you a closer look, show you what's going on inside the combustion chamber. Okay, so you can see the flame inside the combustion chamber. Looks like we're getting pretty good airflow in there even though there's not really any breeze today. Um, show you the top view here what's going on inside you can see our fat woods burning pretty good there Some good heat coming off yeah I would say for a ten dollar investment in tools and some extra cans laying around this will definitely get the job done. You can see that flame is just being 
drawn into the combustion chamber there. That's what we're looking for. A lot of heat coming off that top now. Very good. Again, if you have any tips or tricks for how to improve on this, I'm probably going to put some holes in that this top part right here just for an air feed so I can set a, a device to boil water or something like that on and still have uh, airflow coming out the top. But um, if you have any videos or any advice that you'd like to share, please do. Um, always welcome criticism to ideas like this in order to improve and uh, just build a better device. Um, I look forward to your comments and we'll see you next time.